Good morning and thank you for tuning in to WSKI Channel 17 Weather Report brought to you by 45 North. Check them out in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel and you can check us out at WSKITV.com. Your weather for Sunday, January 7th. Summit temperatures are going to be a brisk negative 6 degrees and base temperatures floating right around zero uh, with minor winds up top. Uh, might be higher this morning but will be decreasing throughout the day coming from the northwest. Also, base winds will be pretty mellow as well. Mostly sunny skies this morning with clouds increasing as we go into the afternoon. The outlook for tomorrow is a little bit different. We have some uh, storm clouds coming in with a chance of flurries and snow showers. Uh, storm totals are uh, unsure at this time, but we'll keep you up to date throughout the day. Temperatures are going to increase quite a bit up to the 20 degree mark up top and base temperatures should be into the mid 20s with increasing winds up top from west southwest 30 to 55 miles an hour. In the extended forecast, flurries are on their way once again on to Tuesday, uh, continuing from Monday, a highs around 26 and low around 12. Wednesday, we might have some flurries again, with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures are going to increase to the freezing mark. It's going to feel like a summer day out there, so make sure you pack your shorts. But unfortunately, along with those summer temperatures, comes a chance of showers on Thursday. And your trail report for Sunday, January 7th, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. 118 trails out there available for you. Uh, all 11 lifts are scheduled to run, and 25 trails are currently groomed. Packed powder to be found all over the mountain, as well as some hard pack conditions out there, so be careful. And over to the grooming report, we have Lower Timberline and Tote Road, along with King's Landing, Competition Hill, and Upper Narrow Gauge. Spillway, uh, Lower Winter's Way, Candyside, Boardwalk, The Landing, and The Birches are going to be groomed out for you this morning. Over to the east side, Whiffletree and Upper Pole Line are the only ones that got some corduroy on them. And then over to west side, we have Scoot and Lower Windrow. Some of that stuff was uh, great stashes to be had uh, as a less trafficked area of the mountain. And your scheduled lifts for this morning at 8 o'clock with Snubber is scheduled to run, along with Sawduster and Skidway joining at 8.30. The Muscalator will be running at 9 a.m. Joining the other lifts at 8.30, we have Double Runner East and West. They are scheduled to run. As I said, the winds won't be an issue today, so these lifts will not be having an issue. We have Super Quad and Skyline um, at 8.30 as well. Timberline is scheduled to run at 9 o'clock. King Pine and Whiffle Tree are also scheduled to run at 8.30. Um, we may have, um, again, some of that wind over there. Might be an issue this morning, but it might uh, cool down or might not have a problem at all. Down at the Outdoor Center, make sure that if you're going to stay active today, uh, the Outdoor Center is a wonderful place to do so. You can have 70 kilometers of cross-country skiing and 12 kilometers of snowshoeing. The ice rink is open as well as fat biking is allowed on uh, selected trails. And if you're looking for some indoor activities, you can head on down to the Anti-Gravity Center where they have an open gym, weight room, uh, and a skate park, bowl, and much more, as well as a climbing wall and trampolines. Fun for the whole family and activities to stay busy when it's a little too chilly to go outside. Or you can check out the Sports and Fitness Center located right off Mountainside Road. Uh, they have a... Uh, deli, a cafe, as well as uh, hot tubs, swimming pool, weight room, racquetball, and much more. Make sure if you want to find out more information in, in the area, you can check us out at WSKITV.com, where we have a live quad cam feed, as well as other information from your local businesses. And watch it.